after e4, black often plays the classical defense e5, or the counterattacking Sicilian defense with c5. Both moves put pressure on the d4 square, but black doesn't always play to prevent d4. Another popular way of opening against e4 is by allowing white to get two pawns in the center, and then counterattacking white's center. After e6, the opening is known as the French defense. White grabs more space with d4, and black strikes in the center with d5. One common way for white to continue is by playing e5, known as the advanced variation. White advances the pawn and grabs space. Black will fight against white's center with c5, and after c3, white creates a strong pawn chain from b2 to e5. This is a typical position in the French defense. White gains more space in the center and tries to hold on to the space advantage, and black tries to attack and destroy white's center. Defending the e4 pawn and developing a knight is more popular than the advanced variation. The most popular opening is after knight c3, protecting e4 and putting pressure on the d5 square. This allows black to play the sharp bishop to b4, pinning white's knight and threatening to capture the pawn on e4. White's most common reply is e5, gaining space in black's territory. Once again, black counterattacks white's center with c5. The other popular move to defend e4 is knight to d2, known as the Tarash opening. This move prevents black from pinning the knight with bishop to b4 because white can play c3. Notice this move does block the bishop on c1 and queen on d1. So development in this opening can be a bit slower than knight to c3. Black continues by attacking white's center, often with the typical French defense counterattack move, c5. Notice one drawback in the French defense is after the move e6, black's bishop on c8 is blocked. We'll now take a look at a similar opening that develops the white squared bishop before playing e6. After the move c6, this is known as the Carol Khan opening. It is a solid option to prepare an attack on e4, so it is similar to the French defense. After d4, d5, a popular choice for white is e5. This is very similar to the French defense. The main difference is that black will develop the white squared bishop before playing e6. Black plays bishop to f5, planning on playing e6 and then c5. Notice that black will move the c-pawn twice in order to attack white's center with c5. This is the trade-off with the French defense. Black's light squared bishop is more active in the Carol Khan, but it takes more time to attack white's center with c5. A popular choice for white is knight to c3, developing a piece, protecting the e4 pawn, and attacking the d5 pawn. After d takes e4, knight takes e4, White enjoys more space by having a pawn directly in the center. Black will often attack White's knight with bishop to f5. White typically retreats the knight to g3, moving the knight to safety and gaining a tempo against Black's bishop, which will need to move again. Now that you've learned the ideas behind attacking the e4 pawn in the French and Karakhan defenses, let's put your knowledge to the test. 